Hi everyone, this is Sultan with WP Funnels. Now, WP Funnels right now is one of the easiest sales funnel builders out there for WordPress. And there's a reason for that. This is right now the only funnel builder in WordPress that comes with a visual funnel building canvas. That's right. Uh, here, you can visually plan your funnel steps and then control your whole funnel from editing uh, to uh, configuring the whole funnel process right from the drag and drop canvas. And today I'm going to show you how this visual drag and drop canvas makes it easy for you to plan your funnels and then execute your complete funnels right from this single dashboard. All right, so let's get started. As you can see, I'm on my dashboard and I have WP Funnels installed and activated. All right, so let me click on WP Funnels and this will take me to the overview page. So the overview page is generally the place where all the funnels you build are listed. Okay, you can see I've created a lot of funnels here. And uh, here, let me just go ahead and create a new funnel to show you the visual canvas. Okay, let me click on add new funnel. And here, this will give you options to import funnel templates. Now, these are not just page templates. This is the whole funnel flow. All right, so within this, you'll get all the funnel steps. At the same time, their pages will be designed as well. And this will depend on your preferred page builder. Right now, I have chosen Elementor as my preferred page builder. So all these templates are going to be designed using Elementor. If you have other preferred page builder, you can change that from settings. OK, and other than choosing the templates, you can also create one from scratch, which will take you to the blank canvas. And there you can add your steps. So let me just go ahead and import uh, one of the templates first. Uh, let's say I'll import this one. And there you go. Once you import your funnel template, this will take you to this view. This is the whole drag and drop canvas. Let me show you why it's called the drag and drop canvas. First of all, I can click anywhere and move my mouse to move the whole funnel altogether. Second, I can select each of the steps and move them however I want. Here you can see I'm reorganizing my funnel. Just hold on a minute. And there you go. So my funnel is reorganized. Now, if I scroll down, I also have the option uh, to zoom in or zoom out to make it easier for me to view the whole funnel. OK, so in this canvas, you control the whole funnel. All right. Uh, let me show you how everything works. First of all, uh, these are all the steps I have that, uh, that were imported uh, through the template. But what if I came and created a funnel from scratch? It's simple. You just click on add step. And here you have the option to choose which step you want to uh, add to this uh, funnel. Now you can see all of these are different steps and every, for every step you have the option to import a pre-built page template along with the step or you can create a step from scratch. So if I import one that's pre-built what will happen is the step will be added to the canvas and its page design will be imported from here. And if I start from scratch, it will be a blank page, but that step will be imported in the funnel. So let me just import a step uh, template. So this is a landing page. I'm importing this template. And there you go. The landing page is added to the canvas. All right. Now, I'll tell you that in a single funnel, it's best to keep a single landing page and a checkout page because the landing page is the starting point and the checkout page is the place where people go to uh, make the payments. All right. Now, once you have added a step, you can easily remove that as well. Uh, simply right click on the step and you'll get this option uh, to cross it out. If you click on cross and it will be crossed out. Okay. Now here you can see uh, each of these steps are connected. Now if you want, you can cancel a connection and change that. Uh, how you do that? Just hover on to the arrow and right click on it and you can cross this out. Now for this step, you can change which step you want to connect it to. For landing page, the natural next step is the checkout so I can just you know select the landing page and here you'll see this option which is this arrow if you click on this and drag your mouse to the next step they will be connected okay the same thing can be done with the upsell let's say I don't want the upsell to go through uh, this node I want someone to go through upsell and go straight to the thank you page let me just cross out this arrow select the upsell step hover the mouse on this icon and click on it and drag it onto thank you page and there you go now if I move this you can see this is directly connected to the thank you page all right so yeah I'll just move it back to how it was uh, so yeah as you saw it's so easy to you know add steps then uh, remove them uh, connect them however you want rearrange them 
this is completely easy but there is more to this okay if you look at this if i select each step there are some options that comes up on top okay so these are the steps that allows you to control uh, if you want to edit the page design if you want to preview it if you want to change the links let me show you for the landing page you will get this uh, three options one is to preview if you click on this icon this will open up the landing page in new tab all right uh, on preview mode and if you click on the edit option this is the edit option all right this will open up this page in your page builder edit mode let me just click on the edit option to show you and there you go you can see that this is the template I imported. So the whole page is designed, but this is designed with Elementor and my uh, landing page opened up in the Elementor edit mode. All right. So let me cross this out, go back to the canvas and there you go. So once you make changes to the canvas, you have to save this. All right. So since I moved it about so much, I saved it. Now this will be saved exactly like this. When I get out, come back, this is how I'll view this. All right. Now, uh, just like the landing page, the checkout page, upsell and downsell also has icons, but you can see they have one extra icon. All right, so this icon is the configure icon. If you click on this, this will open up a settings drawer for this step. All right, so for the checkout, these are the options you see. Now, the important thing of a funnel is the product that you offer in the funnel, right? So the main product or the initial product offer that you make, that is something you have to assign in the checkout step. So once you come in the checkout step uh, settings drawer, here you can get the option to search for a product and add it. Uh, so let me just uh, add a random product from my store. Let's say this one and I can add this product. Okay. And once I add this product, I have the option to, you know, give discounts to this. Uh, I also have other options here, such as, you know, uh, adding order bumps to this funnel. I can even edit the checkout fields uh, for the checkout form of this funnel if I want to. Okay. So I'll just save this. And if I cross out this drawer, you can see now this step previously had the same mark called no product added. Now it's not there, which means I've assigned a product to the checkout page. Now, if I edit the checkout page, I just have to click on this edit icon. It will take me to the checkout page. And there you go. So this is the checkout page. And you can see if I scroll down, uh, all the things are designed as I imported a template. If this was uh, not imported out if I would create a step from scratch then this thing will be blank I would have to uh, create everything with Elementor over here. Okay, so let me cross this out uh, Let's not save this and there you go So now uh, when I have the product in checkout added this means uh, I have already assigned the main product now next comes the steps for the upsell and the downsell where I can assign uh, products as offers after someone goes to checkout so these are one click upsell and one click downsell offers all right so again for this if you select this you have this configure icon and here you can assign an offer you want to make so let me offer another random uh, product let's say this one and if i add this it gets added over here and i can allow specific discount uh, for this product so let's say in the upsell i want to give a percentage discount on this product let's say uh 50 percent okay so if i give 50 percent off then it would be a total of 250 dollars so this offer is basically going to be of 250 dollars so that's how it set up the upsell so if someone goes to checkout and goes to upsell it's going to be offered uh that product i just assigned at the price that came up after the discount okay so you can choose not to give discount as well that's totally up to you now for the upsell page, uh, the thing you have to do is like the product you assign, based on that you have to update the page content, all right? Because this is not a checkout page, which means there is no order details. So uh, whichever product you assign here, you edit the upsell page and then update the copy that, uh, to sell that specific product and highlight the discount maybe uh, that you want to offer in the upsell. The same goes for the downsell, all right? Again, uh, same as upsell, you can assign the same uh, assign products in the same way so let me show you I choose this uh, let's say I'll choose this one as downsell and uh, you can see that I have the option here so uh, let's say I don't want to give discount to this this is already a low price so that's totally fine right so here you can see that I'm actually configuring my whole funnel right from this drag and drop canvas the same thing can be done with the thank you if I select this I have the option to edit the thank you page design I can click on the settings drawer 
and this will give me options to control what data I want to show in the thank you page. All right. So yeah, that's how simple it is to control and configure the funnel steps and their page designs. Okay. So now if you select the step, if you click on the three dots, you'll see this option to change the title of the page and the URL. All right. So let's say I want to change this to just life coach offer. And you can see the URL is getting updated. And if I click on update, then the URL of this landing page will be updated. And uh, when you get the link of this landing page, that will be the URL that's going to be there. So any changes you make, uh, you always have to save it from time to time. So now uh, you can see that it's really easy to configure the steps. One thing I did not explain is this one. This is basically a conditional step control. Uh, basically what this means is that if you can see, if I select it, it gave me this option, right? If I click on this, it takes me to this page where I can define some conditions. All right. And if this condition is true or false based on that, the next step will appear. So let's say I choose upsell is accepted. So that is the condition I gave. So if upsell is accepted, condition is true. And if it's not, the condition is false, right? You can see it says T in green color. This means it's true. F in red color, this means it's false. So when someone accepts the upsell offer and uh, is about to move to the next step, this condition is checked. So if someone has accepted the upsell offer, he will directly go to the thank you page. If someone did not accept the upsell offer, i.e. he rejected it, uh, he will go through to the downsell offer. Okay. So that's how the conditional step control works. And you can easily add that just by clicking on this uh, button called plus condition. If you click on that, another node will appear and then you can add, uh, connect uh, whichever step you want to it. All right. So I'll just right click and cross this out as I don't need it. All right. So I'll just save this. And uh, now other than that, here you have other options. You can change the name of the funnel if you want to. You can edit this and change the name here. Uh, you can assign data to be sent to your automation tools. Simply click on integrations and uh, this will open up this drawer. Here you can choose your uh, CRM tool and then define your user events. And based on the CRM tool, you can assign them list and tags, right? So that's how you control uh, integrations with automation tools. And on the right side, you can see this option that says enable global funnel. Now this option will only appear if you have global funnels add-on installed and activated, okay? The global funnels is a, a special add-on that allows you to create dynamic uh, funnels for your entire WooCommerce store. We have separate videos to show you how that works, okay? Uh, so basically, once you have that add-on, you can enable this and this thing will turn into that dynamic funnel, all right? Uh, other than that, you have other options such as if you click on this one, this will preview the funnel. Uh, as I showed you earlier, you can zoom in and zoom out over here, okay? Uh, let's say I can zoom in, zoom out, I can click on this one, it will reset, all right? Uh, then uh, I have more options here, you can see the stat. This is basically uh, gonna show me a basic summary of uh, you know the traffic and conversion that happened in each page. So if I enable this, you'll see this small icons appearing. So uh, this one signifies the traffic, this one signifies the conversion. Uh, basically person who took action and went to the next step is conversion. So this is the data you can see for each step by enabling stats. Other than that, if you click on the three dots, you have options to set up webhooks to send data to external tools. Uh, if you click on analytics, this will give you analytics on this uh, funnel. Then you have the option to make this funnel into a draft in case you don't want this to be live. All right, you can delete this funnel or you can go to settings. If I click on settings, this has some extra options such as adding UTM, uh, you know, tracking events using uh, Facebook Pixel or maybe Google Tag Manager. Uh, you also have the option uh, to skip offers for identical products in the cart. Uh, this option is mainly Tag Manager, all right? Uh, and there, these options will change depending on what add-on you have. Like if you have Global Files add-on, this will have some different options. Uh, if you have LMS add-on, that will also have some different options, all right? So there you go. So now, uh, once you're done with configuring the funnel, uh, you can just go live with this and promote it and get sales. All right. That's how easy it is. You can see I controlled my whole funnel right from this visual drag and drop canvas. All right. So that's what makes WB Funnels right now the easiest funnel builder uh, in WordPress. And uh, if you're not using it yet, I suggest you go ahead and uh, get WB Funnels and start creating your sales funnels right now. All right. That's it for this video. I'll see you in my next video. Take care.